Hello everyone, it's Jeff and Maya here bringing you another adventure vlog from Glacier National Park. Yes. Today's vlog is going to be just short and cute. We're going to give you a little tour of Apcar Village here in Glacier. Yes. This little village sits on the shorelines of Lake McDonald, which is one of the most iconic spots in the park. This place is a ghost town oh, in the wait. winter, but during the summer it is humming. It's like everything you want in your summer day in one little village. There's ice cream, there's a beach, there's swimming, there's boating. All sorts of action. So I'm going to show you around. There's kids with mullets. Yeah. There's a, it's probably the most popular campground. And we're going to show you kind of the gift shops and just show you and around. The new building. Let's go check out all of these things. Sorry. There is Eddie's Cafe, which just got a facelift. As you can see, it's not fully completed yet. Nice little cafe in there. Children laughing. Isn't that fun? but kind of disrupted the vlog. <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted. This thing's looking terrible. What, your hair? <laughs> no, not my hair. Oh, this... you got a little marking from our hike today, from a branch. Yeah, branded. It's just now but part of your identity. A little souvenir from the Sky hike. Sky face. One time I had the worst eggs ever at Eddie's. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying how the breakfast kind of flops. Dinner is a lot better. A little less problematic. I'm sure with the rise of tourism here, like, I'm certain the food's gotten a lot better. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Maya and I have been coming here our entire lives because Maya has a cabin on Lake McDonald. You can see Apgar from it. So yes. we feel very lucky that we come here and hang out every summer. Yeah, I so. know. And I'm going to just keep doing it every summer until I'm dead, so. Yeah, same. And I'll be there with oh, you. Oh, ice cream. Oh, well, we're coming back for ice cream in a second. So I'm a little confused about bear spray rental because that's something that they offer here. And I'm going to show you in just a second but what that is. if somebody, if, if you rent bear spray and then you use it, how can you return it? What happens? Well, let's hope you don't have to use it because that means a bear is charging you. All right, so there's the schoolhouse. It's a cute little building. It's my understanding that that used to be an actual schoolhouse and Apgar used to be an actual functioning village. My aunt actually went to school there. Really? <laughs> no, kidding, yes. <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. West Glacier. So that was before this became a national park, obviously. Now it fully caters to tourism. But yeah, there's a little bit of history here as well. And now across the street from the Apgar Schoolhouse, which was built in 1915 and discontinued in 1958, according to the sign I'm reading. Um, on the other side, you will find the Wilderness Permit Center. And I've been there lots of times for backcountry permit pickups. So if you're wondering where that is, that's where that is. Let's continue the tour. Over here, we have Rent Bear Spray. See, what I don't understand about the bear spray <laughs> Is what happens if you rent something, you use it, well, how are you supposed to return it? Ah. <laughs> ding, ding, she ding, has ding. a point. You can also get some firewood. There's lots of bike rentals. This is a whole like activity center rental hub. Yeah, all activity of those center things. Rental. Activity center rental hub. <laughs> oh, look, you can return your bear spray in this little box. Yes. <laughs> I feel like the vibes are always just so calm and pleasant and happy here. Like it's late summer, warm. And everyone's just here to have a good time. Families hanging out, being together. Except the dads. The dads are always stressed on vacation. Yeah, like they're like, gotta think about every single detail. They're like, we gotta go. <laughs> Come on, guys, we gotta go. And the kids are like, nah. Kids are like, we just Ice cream! T-shirts! <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get some ice cream. And this place looks so different this year because of this renovation. Like, whoa. Just so you're aware, their scoops are massive here. So one scoop is like, serious. So be careful. If you want to, you really need to want it. You really gotta want it. Can I just have a sample? I'm being so bad. <laughs> I'm a one scoop gal myself. Uh -huh. Show us. Can you hold it up so we can see it? Do you guys want to lick? <laughs> How does that taste? Really good. I got huckleberry in a cup. Which you really said a cup. Huckleberry is like an iconic flavor in this part of the world. Everything's huckleberry flavored. It's a delicacy, local delicacy. And I got Rocky Road. Let's continue the tour. Put your ice cream up to mine. This would be a lot more aesthetic if I also had a cone. Yeah. 
So I we're not. They literally put it in a cup. You asked for a cup, but I think they had bowls. <laughs> Should but... I have said bowl? I think so. so <laughs> not cup. The cool thing about Apgar, like the Glacier in general, they have a really great work exchange program. So they get a lot of um, foreign exchange students, which is really cool. Foreign exchange workers. Workers, but they're also students. I think they do it through their college. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so you'll hear lots of different accents and lots of different nationalities. Because like I said earlier, this is not like a functioning town in the winter. It's just a ghost town. Mm -hmm. Vacant. Mm -hmm. So here we are walking past the Apgar Village Lodge. More ice cream. <laughs> oh, they're open, Maya. Should we spend the night here? Even though your cabin is in view. We have now come up to the cedar tree, which is the ultimate gift shop in Glacier. Remember what I said about huckleberries? You can find all the huckleberry products there. And this is where you can get any t-shirt merchandise you could ever dream of. Hats, huckleberry, earrings, necklaces. Coasters, calendars, puzzles. boats. Ooh, Wait, I mean books, not you... boats. <laughs> I mean, maybe they have boats. Um, Ornaments. Yeah, and they have the things where you like put a few coins in and you crank them. Oh, should we walk okay. in there for a sec? Because they sell ice cream, we're going to be considerate and not show our ice cream that we purchased elsewhere and bring it in there. So we're going to finish it by the shore. We're going to show you the view, the iconic Lake McDonald view, and then we're going to take you back to the souvenir shop before we leave. Slide. So Maya and I have just walked a few minutes down to the beach and the vibes here are immaculate. And I'm going to now flip the camera around so you can see this amazing view. Yeah. You ready? Three, two, one. Da -da -da -da. And it was smoky earlier. Now it's clear. This is just sublime beautiful view. The beach goes for quite a ways. This place is buzzing during the day with people just hanging out here. And this ice cream is bussing. It's so good. I love it in a cup. <laughs> so much better than a bowl. So there is Stanton Peak. Right behind it would be Vought. You can see the garden wall. Oh, I'm kind of blanking on what mountain that is, but that is Mount Brown. We've got Reynolds, Little Matterhorn, Edwards Peak, and oh shoot, what's the last one? The monkey. My great, my great. Stop the tip of my tongue. Lincoln, Lincoln oh. Peak. Wait, Lincoln's that way. Lincoln's one of these. I thought it was. And you know what I just noticed is written on those boats is some of the peak names: Stanton, Jackson, Brown, and Edwards. Jackson Brown. I don't. You cannot. See I love Jackson Brown. <laughs> You can't see Jackson Peak from here, but you can see the other three that are on the boat. So. I'm sorry, guys, for your moment. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> Colorful rocks. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Village Inn, which is stuck in time. We're hoping it never, ever changes. Maya's checking her phone. Sorry. I just got all my texts at once because we had no service all day. <laughs> and even the service as is is a little bit choppy here. So just so you're aware of that. Should we do a staycation here sometime? No. <laughs> and of course, bear resistant trash cans and bear resistant recycling. Let's see, where can I put this? Oh no, only aluminum and paper. Because I'm doing trash. Going into the gift shop. Wow. This is t shirt heaven. Glacier mugs, glacier ornaments. <laughs> and of course, Huckleberry Jam, because what would a gift shop in Glacier National Park be without its Huckleberry Jam? <laughs> So my, they actually had bear spray for sale if you're concerned about returning an empty bear that spray still container. That answer my question. You have to well, I'm saying you, can, you don't have to worry about it if you just buy your own at the gift shop, at the Cedar Tree gift shop. Uh, <laughs> well, did you guys enjoy that ice cream? It's quite good, right? Did you also enjoy that little tour? I sure did. Well, I know that was a short and sweet vlog, but it was still fun to have you come with us. So if you guys want to join us for more adventures here in Glacier Park, Montana, or anywhere else in the world, hit that button and we will take you wherever we go. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> That's the enthusiasm we need, you guys. Smash it, but don't break it because we want you to stay subscribed. Smash that like button. And we'll see you next time. 
Yes, we will. And if you have questions about Glacier, just leave a comment below. I'll happily answer it for you. And I will be like, yeah, Jeff, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs>